today is another Sim Sculpting Sundays, and we are actually creating another male Sim. One of five, maybe? <laughs> My problem is I just find female babes to be a lot more interesting to create. Nothing against guys, it's just a lot of Hollywood men kind of have boring faces, and I'm sorry to say it. But this is a Hollywood man who does not have a boring face, and I was extraordinarily excited but also really nervous to try to recreate him. This is Manny Jacinto. I knew him from The Good Place, but also Lynn manuel Miranda basically called him super impossibly pretty, and he's 100% correct. But he's been in a lot of different things, but he's just... he pretty. He's very pretty, but it's not like conventional pretty. Which I do feel like is... there's a mold for rugged handsomeness. And you do get male actors, especially now, that kind of break out of that, but not as commonly as I would like it to be. Whereas with women, there's a lot of different face types, essentially, because different face types translate to different roles, blah 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 blah. But yeah, I was really excited because I loved his jaw, and yeah, he just, he just pretty. He's pretty, he's got a great mouth. I didn't have... I thought I had eyeshadows. I forgot about them and then I went back and looked and I don't even have them installed, but they were for monolidded sims. I didn't have that. I did my best to make him appear monolidded, even though the skin tone that I wanted to use actually has a lid, which normally I avoid that, but in The Sims 2 it's really hard sometimes. <laughs> like I, I have sliders now so I can move the eyelid and I can mimic them being, you know, an individual being monolithic, but it is rough. And I used to have CC that was basically eyeshadow that was a monolith, but I don't have it anymore. Just disappointing. I try not to delete CC anymore, even if I'm not using it, because slowly but surely all the Sims 2 CC is just disappearing. Which is why I like Sim File Share, but if you don't know where to look for it or what username to look for, it's equally hard to find sometimes. But yeah, I'm really happy with my end result on this one. I wasn't sure if I could do it. I was I was nervous. Because he's just so distinctive and he really is pretty and I, I just, that's all I could think. I was like, just make sure he's pretty. He needs to be pretty. Even if he's not perfect, he just needs to be pretty. <laughs> and he is! I think it worked out okay. I actually can't wait to get back to my medieval color legacy challenge because he's definitely probably going to be one of the spouse options for the next generation in that. I actually looked and I realized I haven't posted that in like a month. It wasn't on purpose, just I took that little break and I had uh, the medieval color legacy challenge videos. I had two or three scheduled during that period that I was just like, hey, I need to take a break. And then I jumped back into my posting schedule just where it was at. I didn't try to make any adjustments, and yeah, it hasn't been on the schedule yet. I think it's coming up though. I actually will get to record something. Which is nice. I like I like that challenge and I do want to complete it. But I tend to do these body shop videos like in bulk. Cause body shop just takes so long to load for me. This whole like make four or five sim videos and then close it and then go back to my game. I'm trying to think. I mean it babbled a lot in the other video that I just did a voiceover for. I haven't been doing too much interesting lately. I've just been sick and I don't even want to talk about being sick anymore because I'm just sick all the dang time. But this weekend, I'm going to put together my closet in the new house, which will be nice. I have to paint it, and I have to put all new shelving and new bars in, and I'm going to have, instead of closet doors, because I am below a china shop, I might be small, but boy howdy, can I break a closet door? <laughs> so I'm not putting closet doors on, I'm actually putting curtains. And they're really pretty, they're actually my living room curtains now, I'm just going to repurpose those into closet curtains. But I need to put all that together this weekend, and currently my- what's- because 
honestly, myself and my partner have a lot of clothes because we're just like that. We're both clothes horses. And yeah, there's a full closet in what's going to be my office. So I was like, how about you just keep the bedroom closet and I will have this closet. They're the same size. It'll be fine. But I need to actually set up my closet. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I keep changing my mind. Although Home Depot has these really cool setups that are like... It's almost like there's like drawers in the middle and shelves, but then there's shelves on the side and bars and... I kind of like that. Because I don't want like wasted space and some things do need to be folded. Especially certain sweaters and things like that. Like they... You don't want to hang them. That's bad for them. Which I never thought about. That was one thing and I'm like... As I get kind of more into fashion, like I'm learning how to take care of my clothing and I'm just like, wow, this should probably like... This should be on a list. Like, people should tell you these things. They, they focus so much on don't let a red sock end up in your whites that a lot is missed in clothes care. Like, <laughs> you're not supposed to hang knits. Had no idea, but it stretches them out and ruins them. Also, beaded dresses. You're supposed to be really particular about sitting in them and things like that. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. And I have a beaded dress that I just didn't... Just hadn't wore it like normal. Well, speaking of beaded dresses that were worn, still kind of, I'm not the only one, but I'm still a little salty that at the Met Gala they let Kim Kardashian wear Marilyn Monroe's dress. Just because so much could have gone wrong. And I know she wore a reconstruction for most of it, but like, that is a delicate garment. It is very old, and I just don't think that it was appropriate for her to have worn it. And I know that, you know, they're like, you can't make any alterations, and you can't do this, you can't, but like, at a certain point, like, it could have been ruined forever. And for what? For a publicity stunt? It didn't even match the theme, which I'm very mad about. Most people who attended the Met Gala, and usually most people that attend the Met, they don't even meet the theme. Like, the Gilded Age? The 60s were not the Gilded Age. <laughs> had nothing to do with anything and rhinestones are not gilded either like what are you doing you could have at least gone the lazy route and worn gold like half the people there who didn't understand like if you're gonna be lazy like just do what you do every year and wear a sheath dress yeah so that's that's what's happening in my little land of the world i'm thinking about closets and i'm irrationally angry about celebrities wearing clothing that's vintage and needs to be protected properly I just don't get it and I'm not the only one so it's like not that I'm like alone in my rational corner and I recognize that there's so many other things to be mad about which is probably why I'm mad about it because why not anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a like if you did and I will see you in the next one